Hello everybody! Welcome to another Blender tutorial on this channel. First of all, I want to say thank you. This channel has more than 1000 subs, and I never thought this was possible. I made this channel to show you my workflow on sculpting hard surfaces in Blender. But my most popular video with over 50,000 views is a video on modeling with curves. I've gotten lots of comments, mostly very good, and I want to say thank you. This means a lot to me. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use curves to model. Curve modeling is not well known in the Blender community, but it gives you incredible nice results with minimal effort. There are some things to remember when working with curves, and I will show you them. We are going to set up a curve modeling base file in Blender to model cylindrical objects really fast. I assume you already have some knowledge in Blender. Let's get started. Press 7 to switch to top view. Shift A to add a circle curve. Change the name to path. Tap into edit mode. All words and handles are selected. If they are not selected, press A to select them all. You can see these fishbone arrows. These show the flow. Ctrl T to tilt the flow. Change it by pressing 90 on the numpad or using the mouse to flip them 90 degrees. Select one vert. Shift S and choose cursor to select it. Tab into object mode. Attention! This is very important. Never scale this circle or rotate it. Just leave it alone. Next press 1 to change to front view. Shift A to add a curve. It will be placed at the location of the 3D cursor. Change the name to profile. R to rotate. Press Y 90. Press R to rotate again. And press Z 90. The order is very important. First Y, then Z. Select the circle. Press the icon of the curve in the properties. Choose Geometry. In the bevel section, select the bevel object profile. Now you are done. This is the base setup for modeling cylindrical objects with curves. In the following tutorials, I am going to show you some ways to use this setup to model easy models and more complex ones. We are going to save this file, so we always have a base file to return to. In future tutorials, we will open this file so we can get started really fast. Go to File, Save As and save the file somewhere you can find it again. If you like this tutorial, please like it so others can see it also. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, I am more than happy to answer them. You can also subscribe to this channel or share this video on your social media. Thank you for watching and see you next time.